Our coverage on the woman and her grandmother who Baltimore County police say were found murdered in their home in Middle River over the weekend. Alexa Ashwell questioned police on where this investigation stands and how the victims are being remembered. Baltimore County police are remaining tight lipped on a potential motive or suspect in this case. But tonight we are learning more about Autumn Harvey's whereabouts leading up to Sunday's gruesome discovery and how the community is planning to honor both the victims in this case. It's been more than 48 hours since Baltimore County police say officers discovered the bodies of 29 year old Autumn Harvey and her 75 year old grandmother Iona Sellers inside their home here in Middle River and no word on a suspect or motive. Dispatch audio obtained by Fox 45 News is helping establish a timeline. Before 10 a.m. Sunday, investigators say police received a call requesting officers check on the house. I came down to check one, two, circle, cross streets of Bonnie Road and um, police court. And she's requesting a one check on her friend that went out drinking Friday night and no one's able to get a hold of her. Family has since confirmed that call was made by Autumn's friend, and she had gone out Friday night, stopping at at least one restaurant in nearby Bowley's quarters. But questions remain about the window of time between late Friday and early Sunday, when investigators say the women were discovered dead inside the home with trauma to their upper bodies. According to county police, autopsies have been performed, and they're awaiting the results that should shed more light on a believed time of death. Family says Autumn was located in the lower level of the home and her grandmother upstairs and whomever is responsible may have entered the home through a window. County police have not confirmed this information and did not answer when asked if it was believed anything was taken from the house. The department says detectives are still verifying a timeline and collecting evidence. I, I can't imagine anybody would want to hurt her because she was such a kind, gentle soul. Meanwhile, the family sharing more information about their loved ones. Iona loved the church and attended Middle River Assembly of God. And Autumn was deeply dedicated to her family and worked in advanced radiology. The family in search of justice. If anybody knows anything, any tip, no tip is bad. Whatever we can do to try and get justice for Autumn and Iona. The pastor of Iona's church tells me they will be organizing a private prayer service tomorrow. The family says they will be organizing other prayer services. We'll post that information on our website, foxbaltimore.com, as soon as those details are finalized. Anyone with any information on this case is asked to contact Baltimore County Police. Reporting in Middle River, Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.